as soon as we see stablecoin regulation passed here in the U.S., you're going to have fintechs and institutions and social media platforms, payment processors. There's going to be a ton of people that bring their stablecoin to the space and, and want to use it. So who's going to get the majority of the stablecoins and who's going to get the settlement of the FX market? There's kind of two pieces here. The majority of the stablecoins up to this point have been minted on Ethereum, Solana, Tron, Stellar, Avalanche, and HBAR. HBAR has its own little studio where you can launch your stablecoin. We've got, you know, RLUSD, which is a leader here in the U.S. Uh, this currently minted on Ethereum because the EVM side chain for the XRPL is not live yet, but it will be here at the end of April in 2025. And I think that you might see some significant adoption of that side chain for this application when that happens. And the other sleeping giant here that I don't I think people are really considering or even think about is Corda. And again, I'll just sip my R3 mug and tell you that there's probably some stable coins that are being issued and worked on for Corda for large institutions. So who, who's going to be the winner here? Who's going to get the majority of the stable coins? Who's going to settle the back end of the FX market? I think it's probably going to be XRP. And again, take it with your rain of salt. I'm just some guy on the internet that has an opinion. I'm not the end all be all. 